All right, part two. Saddle justice. I just hope uh, I was kind of not paying attention to how I was filming in the first one. Johnny Craig. Oh, I'd love to own the original art from him. Crypt of Terror. Now, this literally shows you every single cover that was made. This is a great book, man. It's huge, you know. It's going to take up space on your shelf, and it's very heavy. I think it's like 16 pounds, or just short of 16 pounds. But uh, if you're like me, man, if you're feeling what I feel by looking at this, when you look at this video, you, you got to get it, man. Like, look at this maniac. What is he saying? I've had to work late every night. Good Lord, this isn't wax. This is a human hand. <laughs> yeah. Buried alive. Well, that's scary. That's a feeling you don't want to feel. The only issue I have with this is that they're not every one of these I wish was full page, you know, to get that feeling like, look at his face. Look at the guy he tore up. Damn. That's a famous story. Look at this guy. He's coming for your kids. Imagine being that age and looking at seeing this on the rack. That would blow my mind. The only thing I saw when I was 10, what was it, 19 or 8? In the late 70s, 78, 79, when I was a little kid, man, looking at that rack like, holy shit. It was Spider-Man and, you know, there was some cool stuff. Like, I'm trying to think of what would have scared me. It's just... I gotta think about that, but you know, I didn't experience anything like this. This would have blew me away. And my, like I said, my parents were very liberal when it came to watching horror movies. And I mean, everything. I was a kid. I was allowed. We were renting scary movies on the weekend. Me and my pops, because my mom worked. We would just make popcorn. Me and him and my brothers and. Just watch movies and read comics and play Atari, you know. Fun times, man. You don't realize how good those times were until they're gone. The haunt of fear. Look at this guy. Where is he going? <laughs> Another great cover. Is that Angles? I believe so. I think he did all those covers on the haunt of fear. I could be wrong. Coffins and look at that great cover. This was I saw this for sale a few years ago on eBay. It was like two grand. Man, I wish I would have picked that shit up. Although I did instead, I picked up a lot of high grade silver age stuff. That's very cool. You know, a lot. Of, I have a lot of nine four nine six stuff. That's you know, it's cool. But to have something like that, man, even in an eight point would just look at it. Someday, man. Someday. Well, now that I'm hitting 50 years old, those some days are coming quicker than I thought. Here's another one. There was a 9-2 on eBay that I almost picked up. He was for $700, like, four years ago, I believe. $700 for a 9-2 of this. No way. Yeah, man, man, you're paying four grand. Prices are crazy. These maniacs, like, who watch Iron Man movies are now willing to spend anything on comic books. Anything. 
you know, it's cool for the, if you got them, it's great for sellers, but buyers, man, it's not a good time for us buyers. Well, everything will change. Just, you know, I just hope another 90s incident doesn't happen. Another cool book that you see on eBay often. But here it is, the one I told you before. That's the, eesh, look at that. That's war right there, man. Look at that guy. Lights a lighter and boom, get shot. Oh. Frontline 15. Just the look of anxiety, of terror, fear, like it was portrayed so well by these artists. Like, look at that guy. He's scared, man. You, like, you can tell. You look at these guys and you know they're in distress. It's beautiful work. Thanks. What did I do? I accidentally hit a button.